Most, if not all of you, have heard the expression that a foreman must be a good salesman in order to be successful. Well, I'm sure you know this statement is true and realize that you're selling something or somebody all the time. Some commodities are easy to sell. Most of us are sold on the appeal of modern conveniences and appliances. When a new car is desired, the only job the auto salesman has is to convince us that we can pay for it without undue sacrifice. Who isn't pleased with a bright new lawnmower to ease the task of keeping the lawn neat and trim? Many people offer little resistance to buying clothing and accessories which make them more attractive. Yet, many people resist accepting safety as a way of preserving the most precious commodity of all, life. People who have performed work in an unsafe manner for a long period of time are hard to convince they have been working dangerously even after they have been warned. The incorrectly reason that since they were not previously injured by doing a job in an unsafe way, they will never be hurt. The motorman shown here is warned about back poling his locomotive, an unsafe act and an infraction of company safety rules. These men did not consider the hundreds of injuries caused by similar unsafe work practices. How do supervisors sell their workmen on the necessity of safe work habits? Ordering people to work safely usually is not effective. You must make them want to be safe by creating the desire to be safe. One method is to stress the importance of regular income so that the employee can provide for his family. Otherwise, how can the average workman purchase a comfortable home or other luxuries unless he is regularly employed? The meager income from workmen's compensation is a poor substitute for regular earnings. Some men do not realize that by their actions, they are jeopardizing the future and opportunities of their families. men are not thinking clearly. They're taking chances that will ultimately result in injuries. They must be taught. They must be made to understand what could happen. Many workmen can be depended upon to work safely, while others are inclined to take chances. Not all men are motivated for the same reasons. Therefore, the supervisor is required to understand each man and know his interests, desires, and work habits. Supervisors must talk to their men, teach, demonstrate, and lead them. Most men will respond to recognition because they want to do their work correctly. Hazards must be explained, however, to be completely understood. Workmen must be convinced they have much to gain by working in a safe manner. No one wants to be injured. Accidents and injuries are a sign of poor craftsmanship and poor supervision. 
indifference, lack of training, and lack of knowledge. Men are not always alert to danger. They often work with unsafe tools and perform unsafe acts when they should recognize the hazards and protect themselves. Your job is to convince your men that safety must be a way of life, that each has a great personal stake in doing his job in a safe manner. How do you do this? You take the lead by setting the right example by demanding that safe job procedures be followed at all times and by providing proper tools and equipment. You sell them safety by appealing to their craftsmanship, their desire for recognition, their pride, friendship, and plain common sense. You say you aren't a salesman? Supervisors are selling all the time. Who sold you that expensive rifle last year? Sure, you wanted it, but you had to be sold. You had to sell yourself, and probably your wife, that you could afford it, and that you actually needed it. Safety is not a rifle, or a new car, or a lawnmower. It is far more important. Yet, since it is not tangible, it must be understood to be wanted. Safety requires selling and more selling. You don't only sell safety, but also the need for safety. Every time you conduct a safety meeting, you are selling. Every time you train a new man or talk to him about a safer, better way of doing a job, you are selling safety. As with any other good salesman, you must be sold on your product, safety, and you must always demonstrate that you believe in what you teach. As a supervisor, do you practice what you preach? Selling safety to your workmen requires a varied approach. Consumer products are sold using all forms of advertising and promotion. You must also use different forms to promote recognition and the need for safety. Some companies have adopted the supermarket plan of issuing trading stamps in recognition for safe job performance. Other companies appeal to workers by rewarding safe worker performance in other ways. But the biggest reward is in being alive and uninjured. As a foreman, you must realize that the most important factors in accident prevention, training, and promotion are dedication, perseverance, sincerity, and good example. As a foreman, you are responsible for the indoctrination, training, productivity, and morale of your workmen. Your safety efforts must be never-ending. You must super record. It is to your advantage all the men under your supervision to sell safety as a way of life. <laughs>